Laura, I promise to love and to care for you, to trust you and be honest with you, to stand by you whatever the future may bring. I promise you loyalty and friendship, both now and always. I promise I will love you through the good times and the bad. I'll laugh with you when you're happy and support you when you're sad. I promise I'll be there for you, standing by your side. Our story is now beginning as I stand here as your bride. I promise to always show you the love that I have for you and can't wait to start our journey together once we say I do. I promise to encourage you to chase your biggest wish, but I can't promise that you will catch Kingfisher's biggest fish. <laughs> I promise to be with you every step of the way and be the best stepmom to Tyler through support, love and play. I promise to continue to be your soulmate and best friend and support you when you need it or be there to defend. I promise that from today, as I stand here as your new wife, I'll do my best to build for us a long and happy life. Laura, when you realise you want to spend the rest of your life with someone, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. Well, today's the day I get to marry my soulmate in front of all of our friends and family. From the day I met you, I realised you were the one. You've shown me what true love really is. Not only did you steal my heart, but my son's too. That minute I realised I knew this was the start of our forever. Thank you for everything you do for us. Lots of love, your boys. When Sue became pregnant with Laura, our firstborn, I was often asked, bet you want a boy? Nah, I always wanted a girl. I had my special reason for that, the clues in her middle name. In due course, Laura was born, nine months, two weeks to be exact. Back in the day, it was not the norm to know the sex of the baby before the magical moment of birth. So when I realized I had been blessed with a girl, all my prayers were answered. Later that evening, having left the two girls at hospital, I was driving home. I was so happy when a song came on the radio. It was perfect and it stuck with me ever since. I'd just like to read you a little words, Laura. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she precious? Less than one minute old. I never thought love would be making one as lovely as she, but isn't she lovely, made from love? Isn't she pretty, truly the angel's best? Boy, I'm so happy. We have been heaven blessed. I can't believe what God has done through us. He's given life to one, but isn't she lovely, made from love? Seeing Laura looking so happy and radiant today is truly an amazing experience for us. It's been tinged with a little bit of regret and sadness because it also the moment and that I've realised you've grown up. It's just one last thing I'd like to say, Laura, really simple. There are two lasting things that you can give your children. One is roots and the other is wings. Go fly, guys. Lewis and Laura, love is a gift. Take care of it and it will last you a lifetime. May you always be able to laugh together confide in each other and be the best of friends. May your married life start today and with the support of your family and friends may it be a life full of love and happiness. You are two people with one life ahead of you and in joining your lives through this marriage may you both be granted a special lifetime together. Now it gives me great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Laura, not only did I see that you were the perfect girl for Lewis, you were also the perfect stepmom for Tyler. You are both such great parents. Tyler is one lucky boy. Uh, Lewis, I was so proud to be stood up with you today. You're not just my brother, you're my best mate. And I'm sure I can like, I learned to like you as well, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the last time you'll hear me being soppy. Well, I've got to go grab the rods. I'll meet you down the lake in five, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Jokes aside, I really do wish you the both the best future together, as I know you will have. I'd like to give a huge thank you to Lewis and Laura for letting us be part of your big day. I know, Laura, you've been planning this for years, <laughs> years now. And of course, I wish you two a long and happy marriage together. I'm sure with Lewis's softy side and your caring sides, you'll continue to make many more happy memories together. Um, and just the after and Laura, it can be a bit emotional, can't it? Dad, I'm so glad you picked me to stand by your side to be one of your best men, because you're not just my dad, you're my best friend. I'm so happy to be a part of your special day. Laura, there will forever be a special place in my heart for you. Over the years, you've always been there for me. And for that, I'm so happy, so grateful. You're loving, caring, and sometimes funny. <laughs> <laughs> I wished a long time ago that Dad would marry you. And now that's come true, you're stuck with me forever. <laughs> <laughs> me, you, Dad, and Cody have so many special memories. And as a family, I can't wait to make more together. Also, Dad, I do have a question. Does this mean you won't go fishing anymore as you've already caught the best catch? <laughs>